Hi guys, welcome to the channel of love. Okay, I'm sitting here like I'm prolonging doing the reading. Okay, well you had me intrigued by that little uh, pre-reading that I done. I don't know what cards we're going to use. I've got a bit of a, a stiff neck um, today. So maybe we should just, let's just choose some cards for our Sunday service. Or oh, I'm being drawn to messages from heaven. Quite a lot of cards that want to come out. Can we have some tarot cards, please? Druid card tarot. I was actually looking for the fairy oracle because I felt their energy come through, but I cannot actually see the cards. And it's a pink box, it's not really something that I would miss. Well, I probably have missed it, they're in there somewhere, but we're not using them. Okay. For some reason, we're kind of pushing my phone away because I was thinking, would you like a song? And I thought, well, you're boxing my phone away from the washing machine's just finished its cycle. Okay, we won't use the phone then. Don't use the phone. What was that about, that energy? It was like someone was being secretive and uh, having to kind of hide away so that you could watch on YouTube. <laughs> tower there. We're stacking up here a tower. Will it tumble? The sun's out. It's like I'm a human jukebox. It's like, well, I don't really need the radio. I have songs that are already coming through. Tonight's the night we're gonna make it happen. Tonight we put all of the things aside. I want to love you, feel you, wrap myself around you. I want to squeeze you, tease you, I just can't get enough, and if you move real slow, I'll let it go. Eight cards. Okay, I'm not going to go on and sing the rest, it's like someone's really excited, but they are hiding it. They're about to lose control, but I don't think they like it. <laughs> Eight cards, let's have a look at this energy. We've got the lovers. Phyllis Nelson, move closer. So when I say, should I? And I whisper, I love you. Well, I know you're gonna answer in the sweetest way you say, my pretty lady. Yeah. I love you too well. Okay, right. We do have a masculine here who hasn't been like uh, responding very well. Okay, to love. You've got the lovers here. He is cutting down an olive branch. But there is something here about children as being a block. They're not a block. Children are not a block. They're just a part of the equation. Okay, so if you look at like the yin yang, um, the equation is half. And there's a third element here. 
that comes into that yin yang, which actually is just like the third energy. Divine masculine, divine feminine, and then the child, the inner child. Um, I'm not sure what that was about. Someone here is feeling really old. Uh, I feel like they're struggling a little bit to keep their balance. They're feeling quite drained. They want some sexual healing. Tower, there's a tower. There's the tower. Oh, <clears throat> okay, stressed. I'm feeling it on the neck. He might be feeling it in the head. Well, it is kind of the head, <laughs> it's just the, the base of the head. Mr. Invisible. Okay. Bottom of the deck, there's Mr. Invisible. So, um, I don't want to recall. You don't want to recall? I don't want to recall those songs that I've just sang again. Um, but there was the energy of someone's really excited and they're hiding it. Um, they're about to lose control. I don't think I like it. Um, but then there's this very much about uh, sexual healing. Uh, it's, it's the instantness of it. They could have sexual healing like that. Um, but there's very much this energy of needing to, I don't even want to say sorry. It's not there's this, that there's this need to say sorry. There's this need to say something. When I spoke about the third energy here and children being in the equation, I was thinking, well, if you're balanced in your masculine and feminine energy, and this very much looks like a masculine who's very balanced in his feminine energy, the solution would come forth. Um, it's the energy of oneness, of wholeness, when you attain that, that state of being. Um, there are no challenges. Nothing will keep you from doing what you're here to do. Let's go to um, the bottom of the deck. The hangman, not speaking up. But it feels like time's passing. I feel like this is the older version of him. Looking older here and drained, and it's all a bit of a strain, really, on the system. Or because you haven't spoken up. It's not even about speaking up, it's about speaking your truth. Okay, let's have a look and see what the oracles would like to say. Let's get a message from your angels. I did see the card because it's pink. Um, I think it might be Chantel. New love. It's about new love is imminent. Anyway, let's see what wants to come out. Amiga. Victory, your desire is coming to fruition. Keep up the good work. So Amiga just really shouts out the Divine Feminine's energy. with the Alpha being the Divine Masculine. Amiga. Let's read the message. Let's work through this tower. Congratulations, you have chosen to follow your Divine Guidance and the universe is flowing in natural rhythms with your decision. When you listen to the messages that your heart whispers, you swim in natural synchronicity with the tide of your life's purpose. Stay relaxed and confident and keep moving forward with happiness and grace. It's all about that swimming, connecting with water, having a really nice long soak in the bath. Okay. 
If along the way you notice problems occurring, then it's time to stop and centre yourself. And I feel the only real problems, they're not a problem. It's how you're viewing the situation. Is the children, how do they fit into the equation? So if along the way you notice problems occurring, then it's time to stop and centre yourself. When problems occur, it simply means that you're temporarily out of sync with the universe's rhythms. Because when you're balanced and you're one, you only attract. There's always a solution, so you always attract... Uh, I'm not going to say you always attract neg uh, negative, <laughs> You rarely attract negative. And it's not that you don't attract the negative. It's just about, it's interesting when something negative comes up, you kind of switch into being solution orientated. There is no issues. Okay, not big enough to, to stress you out anyway. There is no need for analysis or shame when this occurs. Simply pray or meditate, breathe deeply and wait until you feel stronger about your next move. Your victory is inevitable in this situation, so you needn't worry that temporary problems will thwart your desire. Whatever happens is supposed to happen, and when it happens, is the correct time. Release your doubts to heaven and rest assured that a happy outcome is yours. Ah, oh, that was neck <laughs> Okay, <clears throat> Amiga. Let's have a look at the um, angels and ancestors. The medicine mother, honour your inner knowing. Yeah, there's this need for healing here. When you look at these cards here, um, the only feminine is in the lover's card. Apart from there's a little one here that's feminine. And then the rest is masculine. Okay, and then we have the feminine energy with Omega. So, the medicine mother. Honour your inner knowing. Take action. Do what you know you need to do. Mother always knows best, they say, and it's true. We all know a maternal figure who's extremely intuitive and insightful. And this medicine mother has gone through many ups and downs. She has lived and she has lost. She knows what it's like to suffer and to want to give up. So the medicine of this card is that it's okay to make mistakes and get it wrong sometimes. It's okay to things to come to an end. It's not the end of the world. It's just the end of one chapter and the beginning of something new. The, the medicine mother reminds you that even though you will have low lows, you aren't here to suffer. You're, you're here to be supported and to support others. <clears throat> Let her give you the love and encouragement to take the next step forward. Okay, the extended message. There is an old pattern rising up in you now and it's time to deal with it and release it for good. You're being encouraged to love and respect yourself enough to take the steps you know you need to take to move closer to where you'd like to be. You already know the answers. You know what you need to do. You may have been using delaying tactics, like the beginning of this video. You may have been using delaying tactics or holding back, but now you are being guided to take action. Action requires courage, but your angels and guides are bringing you the courage to move forward. Take just one step. When you do, the next one will be presented to you. Angel prayers.
this card here. Trust your vibes. Good, 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 good vibrations. Thank you, angels. Today, I choose to trust my intuition and your guidance. Good for you. It is good for you. Okay. To trust. Trust your vibes. We're in the middle of a chain reaction. The angels are here to inform you that whatever you have been feeling recently is absolutely correct. Your intuition is on point and the angels are here to congratulate you on trusting your vibes. Feeling is one thing, but trusting is another. When you wholeheartedly trust, in your intuition and the feelings you have been given. You come into alignment with who you are and the angelic guidance which surrounds you. Today is the day you must trust what your intuition is telling you, but also trust your guidance on what you should do with this intuition. Ensure it is for everyone's highest good and that includes yourself. Okay, the expanded interpretation your psychic and intuitive abilities are developing more and more every day. The angels are here to encourage you to go with whatever you feel your soul has been trying to tell you. Rich, intuitive and psychic knowledge is downloading into your core and the angels are encouraging you to follow this guidance. As you take this step, it may bring up some fears or concerns, but you are encouraged to trust in the angels who are on this journey with you. When you take the first step, the next step will be presented to you. Trust your vibes. The last card said that. Medicine mother. When you take the first step, the next step will be presented to you. Trust your vibes. Oh, let's get a message from... It's exciting, isn't it? <laughs> let's get a message from heaven. Soon you won't be able to hide it. <laughs> And soon you're gonna like it. You're gonna you're gonna like the vibing. <clears throat> Listen to your inner voice as we try to guide you. Use your intuition. Card number 21. Okay. How awesome. We're gonna end with a oh, mother Mary. Okay. 21. so excited and I just can't hide it no 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 I know I know I know I know I know I want you I want you look what you do to me you've got me burning up whoa 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 now you have a natural psychic ability that helps you to make great decisions you can feel when something is wrong or right your body brings you signals deep inside. When you have to make choices, ask yourself, is this right? You will feel your answer. Your loved ones say, we will help you to connect to your own natural intuition. Okay, Mother Mary. Come to me and sing your sweet words of wisdom. The doggy wants to join in. The one through a party at the candy jam. <laughs> you should have had the knock out jail, but sing a let's rock. Everybody, let's rock. Everybody in the whole cell block was dancing to the jailhouse rock. Oh, we had this card the other day, Our Lady of Comfort. We didn't read all of it, though. We only read the beginning part, so... Because um, I felt the real strong divine feminine energy was being nurtured by the medicine mother. Um, oh, 
I felt the support come through for the Divine Feminine. The Divine Masculine had a roomy card, although I felt that was for the Divine Feminine. There's a lot of loving support and comfort coming through for the Divine Feminine. Okay. Right. Amiga. 43. Even though you may not see me, I am holding your hand. Even though you may not hear me, I am speaking through your heart. I am never far away from you. I am by your side, with love, guidance and protection always. You are my own. I could not bear to be apart from you now. Receive my message of comfort and peace now. Our Lady of Comfort brings you angels of peace. She is at your side. I'm not going to say that Divine Masculine, you're not excluded from this, but I haven't spoken much to the Divine Feminines, and they are being, the Divine is taking care of us now. All of us. Okay. So I'll put the card down, and I shall speak to all of us. Our Lady of Comfort brings you angels of peace. She is at your side. If you have wondered if the Divine is more real than you ever believed, if you have been in conscious Divine connection, the oracle of Our Lady of Comfort confirms this. If you have been having the opposite experience, perhaps finding it difficult to feel lightness, joy or happiness for some time, or finding it so hard to meditate or connect with yourself or your spiritual centre, Our Lady is telling you she is still with you and this time too shall pass. If you have been trying to be strong, perhaps for the benefit of others who are grieving or in stressful life situations, or if you've been feeling alone, not really held or heard by others, this oracle comes with a particular message. The Divine Mother hears you, knows you and loves you. She asks you to pray to her so that she may help you, that you may attract the comfort, connection and support that you need, not only from spiritual sources, but also in human form in the material world. You are worthy of this support too. And she asks that you do not allow your strength to isolate you or prevent you from receiving the love that you need. If you have been in chronic pain, either emotional or physical, and are suffering without relief, or you know of someone in such a situation, please pray to the Divine Mother Mary, Our Lady of Comfort, to bring spiritual blessing and divine assistance or relief. The Divine Mother will offer what will most serve, with mercy and compassion, and you can certainly pray for her help for others and for yourself and others. If you are suffering a loss or disappointment, she comes to you specifically with this message. Sometimes there is a sacrifice of what could have been on the altar of a different future. Grieve what has not come to pass, but know that there is plenty of life yet to be lived, and dreams to be fulfilled. Those dreams may be fulfilled in a way that is surprising, or may yet be fulfilled in the way that you once imagined that they would, but divine timing is perfect and serves you. Receive her comfort and know that all is not lost. If you have been worrying about a situation in your life, the Divine Mother asks that you imagine her soothing you gently, like a child, like a mother with a child. She asks that you know that you have more than enough strength and resourcefulness to attract to you what you will need to allow that situation to resolve itself. She is with you, helping you. Pray to her for help and allow her to help you. Our Lady of Comfort also reassures us that whatever is happening in our lives, whether obviously healing and supportive or not, is helping us grow spiritually. We can always pray to her for assistance and support. She will answer all our prayers. Yet we can also know that if we are struggling in some way, this is not, this is not a sign that something is wrong or that we are being punished or not getting some lesson or other. We are just growing. Imagine a child taking their first steps. There could be a few great strides and perhaps at least a few wobbles as well. The Divine Mother is there with her arms open calling you forward with delight into the next phase of your life path. Finally, if you've been hearing loving words in a song, the song that comes through, well, it, it said delight. 
It's like groove is in the heart. One, two, three, groove. And then finally, if you've been hearing loving words in a song that's sticking in your mind, or finding white feathers on the ground, or seeing many churches more than usual, or seeing artwork of the Divine Mother, or feeling new sensations of love in meditation, and you've been wondering if it all means something, the oracle comes with this answer, yes. The Divine is reaching for you and making its presence more felt, so that you know it is real, and with you always. Lovely, lovely, how long have we been on for? 25 minutes, is that all? Okay, let's go to um, the Enchanted Map. Very stiff neck today. Sad embrace in reverse. Okay. Card number 45. Are you suffering over your suffering? Do you feel that life is treating you unfairly? and that you've been robbed or deprived of what you're entitled to? Do you long for a love that eludes you, or the success that has been bestowed upon others? Righteous anger and a sense of entitlement lead to a trap of ego. Your suffering and loss will pass if you let them. If you hold on to your perception of unfairness, then you'll find yourself in its tight grip, unable to breathe freely. The only solution is to drop your victim stance and embrace the sadness so that it may dissipate naturally in time. Trials and tribulations build character, which is its own gift. Find something to be grateful for and take responsibility for your part in all matters. However painful it may be to sit with your sadness, remember that you are loved and you will not be left adrift forever. Have faith, for this too shall pass. You are not a victim, only a traveller on a hero's journey. It's okay to be disappointed for now, but know that someday you'll look back and see great value in this experience. There's the card. We go to the energy cards. And then I think I will just finish with a roomy message. There's not really much more to say. You've got to trust your own vibes, follow your own guidance. Um, when I read the chapter yesterday, chapter 11, that's what that was about, following your, your guidance system, your navigational guidance system. Okay, the card from the energy deck is Door to Spirit. And then we will finish with a, with a moony. You're going to show me your bottom. <laughs> Fucking hell. We're going to finish with a roomy. 32. Spiritual awakenings and new beginnings. The door opens onto the expansive energetic realm where all new beginnings originate. The orbs of light are guiding you through the clouds of the earthly world leading you to a deeper understanding of your eternal identity, the source of all true value and power. This door opens onto truly unlimited potential, where the changes that happen here reach deep into the core of your being. As such, this card often heralds your increasing powers in the spiritual arts and a deepening connection with the spirit world. 
Don't be surprised if you find yourself becoming more intuitive, more aware of spirit's presence, or more powerful in your own healing practices. Now is the time to open up to the unexpected guidance and inspiration of spirit and to the magic and power of your true identity. Boom. Table's messy. <laughs> we'll build a tower over there as well. Let's do it. Into the Garden of Delights. Groove is in the house. <laughs> Go flower power. 28. Are you aware that sweetness is found everywhere in town? Are you aware that winter is gone and spring has come around? Are you aware that sweet basil and the carnation are whispering in the garden and laughing about how simply everything is found? Are you aware the nightingale has come back from its flight, singing out messages of love to spread delight with every sound? Everything in the garden, everything in the garden is granted the right from the divine court to appear for our delight. Everything is here to make the earth green and alive as a haven for our life. What remains buried in the soil will always endeavour to reach out. No one truly alive can ever be pawned to a prison or a tomb. Boom. Just took me to Jow House Rock. There is a sweet spot when entering the Garden of Delights, a moment where the senses have gorged themselves upon beauty and become heavy with their fullness, slowing the mind so that it can perceive the Divine Beloved dancing behind the veils of nature. But first comes the sensual feasting. Blooming orchids arrest the gaze with their startling and strange beauty. Nectar from the ripest fruits of the garden drips, luscious and sweet, upon a savouring tongue, hungry for gossip, their ears shamelessly eavesdrop upon the birds in melodic conversation. They sing of greatest, most passionate love and boundless living joy. The ears open wide to take it all in. The craving for touch is sated by rough textured bark falling from the ancient trees. Soft, dewy grasses, cool in the shade, the crunching leaves making their sounds under the hot sun and dancing feet and the caress of that sunlight upon bare shoulders with weight of its own like a silken wrap placed just so by a caring lover's hand. The breeze, the very breath of the beloved earth mother is sweet with scent of lavender and Jasmine warmed by the Sun Father. Oh, drink it in until your arms raise themselves to heaven, your head tilts, eyes rolling back in your head, and your sacred animal body is mindless and in love. The Garden of Delights, narcotic in effect, lulling the senses from tension into sacred languor, that love may be experienced. Let us rest here, in the midst of so much life, where the goodness of life is felt and the heart is free from any prison or pain or doubt. Come, be in the garden with me now. Let us be free and feast 
to our heart's content. You have been granted entry into sacred space, a myrab, a sanctuary for worship. When the soul is well acquainted with love, life becomes a temple of love, the sacred space in which the soul can grow powerful through expansive worship of love. You are being invited by your spiritual brother Rumi to enter into life, to commit to coming alive, even if at times this feels deeply challenging. Sometimes a part of you may rather stay locked in an illusion of security for a time, perhaps expressed through the preference for what is known over what is unknown, what is familiar and comfortable compared to that which is unfamiliar or uncomfortable. To tussle with the parts of us that would deny aliveness is a natural part of growth. It can seem so risky, with such potential for heartache, and yet what could be more heart-wrenching than the slow death of a precious human soul, suffocated by fear and iner inertia. That is the greatest risk of never really and fully being born into this world of wonders. So Rumi is your midwife, there to ensure full spiritual birth. He is standing at the threshold with you now. You're being asked to cross this threshold from the life you have been living into the aliveness that is flickering and glowing at your feet. It is love's wild, hot embers at your sacred feet. They will have up to any moment into a holy inferno, taking hold of you and igniting you from within, transforming you into living fire. To come alive requires shedding of so much adherence to the fear of death. The great brother whispers wisdom into your heart. You have heard it, felt it already. The fear of death is so much more terrible than death itself. Nothing is dying in you but the fear so the heart can live more freely. Death and life are twin angels, dancing together in communion with the sacred. They are not opposed. They bring the soul aliveness and make the garden of delights possible. They bring the seasons of the soul that foster growth and take the appearance of dying away and take the appearance of dying away, which is actually part of the cycle of life, again and again and again. You have been through much death, dear one, around you, within you. You have known this dark angel. That is why you are so full of life. Your attempts to stay as you have been, to render something in your life immobile or impervious to change, have failed. Let us celebrate. There is no delight in frozen moments long since past. Why try to feast upon such food? It will not nourish you anywhere near as deeply and fully as fresh from the other morsels of life. Come let us taste all that is on offer. We drink headedly and sate our deepest thirst. Let us enjoy the richness of the meal in gratitude for its preparation and awe at the skill involved in such masterful creation. Do not let the memory of death starve you of your participation in life. Do you hold on still to that which is past? I will soothe you with a loving touch upon your back and yet gently I will turn your head to the right and urge you to see the rising sun. Your life is blessed, you see. I want you to know this now. I want you to accept this now. Let those honours of the past be gone. There are no more, they are no more than phantoms. The garden is here now to be touched, tasted, seen, heard, felt, inhaled and loved. This oracle comes to you with a message, a new day is dawning for you. This is a time when the past will very soon cease to have any hold over you. Celebration is imminent. You are invited into the garden light of divine plenty. Put your worries behind you now and step into your divine inheritance where all is sorted according to kindness and grace. Let's end with this sacred honour and ritual. Say aloud, I accept the gift of golden grace and healing now to leave behind all prisons and tombs, conscious and unconscious, 
of heart and of mind. I open up to life and assist through unconditional love in being present to the miraculous beauty that seeks to live through me, as me, and in benefit to all humanity now. I know myself to be worthy of this grace, to be this grace, so be it. Place your hands gently on your heart and rest for however long feels good. When you are finished, you have completed your ritual. And I have completed your Sunday service. Okay, guys, have yourself a fantastic day. I will catch up with you all soon. Take care, much love. Bye for now.